mission of the Neighborhood Art House is to help children develop to be all that they can be. We do it through the arts. We aren't teaching those arts so they become artists. We're using them as a way for the children to develop their inner spirit. We want them to be able to live their life with hope and with direction and with a good sense of self. There's a good deal of structure in the skills required to do art, so that helps with organization of their thinking. There's also an inner expression of what's beautiful, and that develops the other side of their brain. So it's a combination of needing to be structured and needing to be free. It's those tactile experiences, working with clay, um, working in the ground to build a garden. It's those experiences that are life skills and that will carry them through. For the last five years, I've been working on this program of environment awareness with the students because we need to know um, what our responsibility is and how we can do things that will make our impact on the earth less. And I think when we all develop a sense of place with where we are, then we're much more um, willing to take care of that space. Art has a lot of structure. It helps kids stay focused, finish something from beginning to end. You, the classes here were so, were so good because they really, they really were fun. They were hands-on. There were some that, were, uh, that helped you with communication skills. It helped you control your anger. Uh, it helped you control life, just in general. A child that may come in who is kind of a little unruly and a little inappropriate in things that they're saying, um, in two or three years' time, they become an entirely different person. They've learned how to kind of mediate and, and how to behave a little bit more and what is accepted and what isn't accepted behavior. I think it's something they carry through their lives, definitely. So many children in the beginning say, I can't, and we stop them right there. And I, those are two words that don't exist at the art house. You try, you do your best. In sewing where I had to make a pillow, that was pretty hard. Going like slow in order to like uh, sew all the thread and stuff like that. There is a definite gaining in self-confidence, self-worth, but they're so proud of what they have accomplished. Once I finished the pillow, I felt like proud that I actually did it without like messing up or anything. My pillow's at home, I use it to sleep. I see them grow in their confidence, and I see them take a great deal of ownership of their own work. It always amazes me, not only how well they do, but how they're able to look at it and see what they would like to improve, not in a critical way, but in a growth type of way. One of my most memorable experiences with the students was the week that we made bean bags. Each of the students made a little square bean bag and we made a cardboard target to throw them through and we painted it all up. And the week after I asked one of the little boys if he played with his brothers at home and he said no, my mom opened them up and we ate them for dinner. So it gave me the realization of the economic hardships that a lot of these families deal with. And the beautiful thing about this place is those hardships, we help cover them. Not so much in the beans, but the kids get mittens and gloves and things that they need to keep them warm. And they feel secure here and they feel loved here. Um, it's hard sometimes for children here in Erie when they are set up to fail and there's not a safe place for them to go and be themselves. And I believe that the art house gives them that opportunity. We don't exist because of any outside funding. We exist because of the generosity of the people who want these children to have a good chance. Once we found out what the art house does, how they transform the lives of so many youth, gives them opportunity that they never thought they had. This newfound confidence help them with their academics at school. I think that is the most important thing we can do to help our youth when uh, there are so limited resources in uh, many other areas. The art house 
dedication to that is extremely important. One of the things that struck me when I first came here was I was sitting at my desk and it was just about time for the children to come in. I look up and all of these little children are skipping down the sidewalk singing the circle song that we sing at the beginning of each session. I just couldn't believe it that they were that excited and that happy to be here after a full day of school. The art house is a beacon of hope and I would say like a lighthouse on the corner of 10th and Holland. And that's what I believe the art house can help kids do. Not just find themselves, but celebrate who they are. It's a very calming place. It's a very secure place. It's a magic place where kids learn and adults learn right along with them. To me, our little daily things that we do with the children enable them to be better people so that we can have a stronger future. And that's what I believe art will do. Art enables us to speak, react, and rejoice in who we are. And all of those things help us heal our human spirit so that we can build a better world.